Okay, now let us learn some mathematical symbols and notations. So let me open a new file. You could continue in the same file or you can open a new file. Same, I will use slash document class article. Then we have slash begin document and document. Okay. Now, if I am using plus minus star from the keyboard, that's okay. We can use it directly from the keyboard. But there are other symbols like, for example, Greek symbols and other mathematical commands. For that, we need to give a command. Whenever we are writing anything mathematical, we always write either between two dollar signs. We write it between two dollar signs. Or we use square brackets, slash square brackets. So this is mathematical mode. This will center a line, whatever we are writing in the mathematical mode. So suppose let's begin with Greek symbols. So let me write slash alpha. Okay, let's save this file. So let me save, as, save it as mathematical. Let's execute it. You can see the symbol alpha here. Okay. Now let me write slash beta. Let me make a list. Gamma. Pi. Phi. Mu. There's a whole list. You can go to again help menu and look at whatever symbol you need. Let's execute and see. So you get the symbol. Greek symbols, nice Greek symbols as the output. Let me write some mathematical expression here. Okay, so suppose I need to write slash for all x in x. There exists, so I'm writing slash exists. You can see even the commands are not very far from what we actually want. So less than equal to, so slash less than eq. Why less than equal to, say epsilon. Let's execute and see. There's a backslash here. Okay. So for all, name is also slash for all. x in, in x exists. As the name slash exists less than equal to properly aligned epsilon so these are mathematical commands which are again available in the help menu whenever you require them okay now let let us look at superscripts and subscripts again let's start the mathematical mode uh, for superscript we use caret this is the caret for subscript, we use underscore. So let me take up an example to show it to you. So suppose I'm writing uh, n to the power of uh, 4. I execute. You can say n to the power of 4. Now suppose I'm writing uh, n sub i. Execute. You can see n sub i. Now, whenever I have a single expression, I don't need parenthesis after this. But suppose I want to write, say, n to the power of 22 and I just write n to the power of 22 and I execute it. I'll just get the first expression as the superscript. The other expression comes in the same line. For that, I need to put them in parenthesis. So if I put them in parenthesis, the whole expression is now taken as superscript and you can see in the output. So you have to be careful, same for the subscript. If there is an expression, then it has to be written in parenthesis. Let me write a small expression and show it to you. Suppose I'm writing k underscore, that is for subscript, n plus 1 is equal to k underscore n plus k underscore, now I want to write n minus 1. Now if I execute it, I'll get it in a proper manner. If I had not written the parenthesis, I would not have get the whole, got the whole expression as subscript. Okay, similarly for superscript. Next, let, let's go to some trigonometric functions. Okay, 
So let me write slash cos or cosine, uh, say 2 theta. And let's execute and see. So you get a proper nice cos and 2 theta. Now you can write, say, some identity. So I want to write slash cos square. I said caret square is for carrots. I'll use carrots for writing square. Theta minus slash sine square theta. Right? Now let's execute and see. So you can see the expression comes out in a proper format. Okay. Similarly, you have other uh, trigonometric functions which you can look at. Next, let me go to fractions. Okay. So let me add comment. Fractions. How do we use fractions? For fractions, I have the command slash frac. So fraction has two parts, numerator and denominator. So for, uh, again, I have to write it in mathematical mode. So let me write it in the inside the mathematical mode. Okay, slash frac. So whatever I write in the first bracket will come as a numerator. And whatever I write in the second bracket will come as the denominator. So suppose I write uh, in the first bracket in factorial. And in the denominator I write k and n minus k2. Now if I execute it, you can see a nice fraction with a proper line and proper layout has been obtained in the output. Next, uh, so you can make uh, long fractions and whatever uh, way you want. LaTeX will take care of the proper spacing and how to present it. Let me take summation. Now in case of summation, our command is slash sum. Summation has uh, the limits. So let me say sum from underscore i, i is equal to 0. Let me take i is from 0 to, so that is for cap. Let me write 10. Let me write x sub i. The mistake what we are doing right now is I should have written this in the mathematical mode. So this is, this has to come in mathematical mode. Let's execute it. And you can see proper summation with spacing, alignment, everything x sub i. So that is for summation. Okay, next let us take up integrals. How to write integrals? The command for integral is slash, again I have to start the mathematical mode, slash int for integral, underscore the lower limit, caret the upper limit. So let me take infinity. For infinity we have slash infty, fx, dx. Okay. Now you can see 0 to infinity with an integral sign fx dx. So this gives me integrals. Now often in mathematic, mathematics there are features which are of different size. So in that case we need delimiters to be resized according to the need. For that we have slash left and slash right. So let me show you that now. Okay, for the delimiters, let me add a comment. Delimiters. Suppose uh, I have a fraction. So let me start the mathematical mode. And I have a fraction, say slash frac. My numerator is uh, say x plus 1. And my denominator is say y minus 5 and I want to write this fraction in brackets. Now if I execute and you see the brackets are not somehow looking nice. It's not taking the whole expression inside it. For that I need to resize my brackets that is resizing the delimiters. For that for the left bracket I write slash left and whatever delimiter I need. Similarly for the right I will be writing slash right and the delimiter which I need.
Now, if I execute, now you can see the proper delimiter, the proper brackets have come up. Now, in case there is a delimiter only on one side, then an imaginary delimiter has to be added on the other side. So, that can be done using a period. So, let me take up an example for that. Okay, so suppose I have a delimiter only on the one side. Now for that, I'll for example take slash left. I don't have a delimiter on the left, so I'll type a period on this. Slash frac. Uh, suppose I say x square and I say y cube. I have slash right pipes underscore zero carrot one and if i look at the output now you can see fraction there is no delimiter on the left therefore i use an imaginary delimiter with a period on the right i had pipes underscore zero and carrot one so superscript that so similarly we can use delimiters for resize, resized delimiters for different mathematical features as is required in our document. Okay, let's stop here. Thank you.